Hey everybody, it's Carl here and welcome to revision video 3. Now, for this revision video, we'll be taking a look at the snapping tools here in Unity 3D. So this is the Unity game engine, in case you don't recognize it. And what we're going to be doing, like I said, is that we'll be looking at the snapping tools. Now, since the release of um, Unity 2D, not just 3D, um, I'm thought that I should probably make a revision video that shows off both um, the 2D snapping and 3D snapping. So what we're going to be taking a look at today would be the basic snapping tool. So that's um, the rotation snapping, grid snapping, um, scale snapping, and um, vertex snapping. And that's we're going to be taking a look at that in both 2D and 3D. Um, but also we'll be having a look at the snap settings and how we can change them to affect um, how often uh, sort of snap ticks over here in Unity. So um, we'll, we'll start in 3D and you know what, the first thing that we should look at would be the snap settings. So to get to the snap settings you go to edit, find snap settings which should be down the bottom and here we can take a look at the general snap settings here in Unity. So we have move X which is move X, Y, and Z, which I have set to um, 0.05 each. Now, if I remember correctly, the default is um, 0.1. I've just have that just um, just because that's how I work anyway. Uh, again, we have um, the scale snapping. So in this case, it snaps um, by 10%. So if I go um, if I go ahead and set that to one. Sorry, did I say 10%? It snapped by 0 0.1. So if we take a look here at scale and um, we have a look here, I've set it to 1. Everything sets here 1. If we switch over to the scale tool and we scale it, you can see that it snaps by 100%. So the default setting was 0 0.1, which is 10%. If we take a look here at the scale area, here in the inspector we can scale that and it scales by 10% each time. Again we have rotation snapping which of course works um, well works to snap rotations. Um, again we can restrict um, which axes that we want to snap on so we can snap all axes or we can just snap using only these particular axes so X, Y, or Z. Um, but of course for me I always use snap all axes. So let's take a look at the actual snapping functions. The first one that we're going to look at is um, grid snapping or position snapping. And that's when, actually, you know what, I'll duplicate this cube first um, and I'll drag it out here. Now I'm not snapping it to the grid. As you can see, if you look up here, you can see that it's not really snapped to anything, so it's free moving. And we can do that with rotation as well. And we can do that with scale as well. Now, if you've watched the Unity Basics videos um, on their website or on the Unity YouTube page, um, they take you through this, so I'm not going to go too much into that. But of course, you have the snap tools. So if you hold down Control on your keyboard, the Control key, um, if you're using a Mac, I believe it's the Command key. I'm not too sure. You'll have to look into that. But if you hold down the Control key on Windows, and let's say we want to change the position, the current position of this main cube is 0, 0 0.5, and 0. Now I want to move it to say 1 on the Z axis. So let's hold down Control, click and drag, and you can see that it's sort of snapping really well. Um, that's my bad. I should be clicking Global. There you go. That's better. Z axis. You know, I, was, um, I was selecting the local Z axis and not the um, global Z axis. So I want to move it to um, Z um, uh, was it 1. So we can sort of slowly drag that and it'll get there eventually. There you go. Now it's at 0, 1. If I wasn't using grid snapping, it'd be very hard to actually get it to exactly 1. So that's why I prefer to use grid snapping. It's good for when you're trying to line things up like buildings or walls or things like that so um, hard edge objects if you want to line things up perfectly so that you don't see the skybox through the buildings um, using grid snapping is very effective 
Now the other kind of basic snapping, as you can probably tell now that rotation, uh, position, rotation, and scale can all be snapped because they're all here in the transform section. If I could just collapse all that. They're all here in the transform section, so they can all be snapped. So again, hold down control and we're in rotation mode and we'll be rotating to the amount specified. So if we go back to edit, snap settings, our rotation is 15, so um, that's 15 degrees. Um, just just so that you're aware. We can change that, but um, I prefer to keep it at 15. Of course, you can change that to, if you wanted, you can change that to, sorry, I keep going into the wrong menu, snap settings, we can change that to 45 if you want, and it'll still work. It'll just um, sort of have larger snaps. So there you go, back to 15. It's a lot easier to use um, 15. Now I'm just using the basic Unity cube here, so um, it's not a special cube that I've imported in from 3ds Max or anything, it's just the basic cube, which is why that side is upside down. But we, you don't need to worry about that. The last one, of course, is um, scale. And if you hold down control again, and here's, here's something, if you use this, this middle cube basically scales the entire object. And that can be applied to um, the move function as well, as well the rotation. But back to scaling, if we only wanted to scale it on the Z axis, we can do that. If we only wanted to do that on X or on Y, that's possible too. The point is, whenever you're doing this, you should always be aware that um, if you're scaling, it's probably a good idea to simply use just the general scale because when you're scaling it like this, and you can see it in the texture, it just it sort of warps it and it makes it look well unneat. So that's something you don't want to do. So when you're scaling something, just a bit of a heads up. Um, unless you know what you're doing, um, just use the general scale because it's it's what it's for, really. Now the last type of um, scaling that I want to, oh, sorry, um, snapping tool that I wanted to use was is actually not found in edit snap settings or in the transform position. This is vertex snapping and basically what it is, I'll show you guys really quickly what vertex snapping is in case you didn't know what it was. That's that and I can duplicate that cube again. Maybe I'll rotate it a bit or rotate it like that and we can snap it there. No wait. I want the other corner. We snap it there, and we'll grab that. I'll snap it over here. There you go. That's vertex snapping. So the name kind of gives it away. It basically takes one object's vertice, vertex, sorry, and it snaps it to another object's vertex. Hence the name vertex snapping. Now you need to be careful because, well, um, at times uh, vertex snapping can get a little bit. Um, it can come up with a few calculation errors in which case you'll have like small seams in between geometry so this becomes very obvious when you're using um, th uh, sorry when you're using modular geometry so when you're creating something like a really big wall um, to minimize the amount the number of seams that you have I would recommend you sort of think about what size of walls you'll be having and generally create three or four different types of wall geometry just so that you can minimize the geometry seams in the world overall because no matter how um, accurate it might look in the final build of the game you might have you might end up with a bit of um, a geometry seam which is something you really can't um, hide unless you use more geometry or if you're smart with your geometry so that's just something to look out for <coughs> Excuse me. That's 3D snapping. Now we're going to take a look at 2D snapping. Don't worry, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> it's almost done. Let's save that. Now, I'm using Unity 4.5, um, and as far as I can tell, um, <laughs> the snapping tools in 4.5 don't exactly work um, as well as they should. So you can see here that if I try selecting one of these, I, I can move it freely and all that but sort of that grid snapping well that's not proper grid snapping is it it's kind of like what 
what's going on here, right? I'm not entirely sure what's going on, <laughs> to be honest. I have no idea. Um, so what I actually do is I don't actually work in 2D when I'm working on a 2D game. I actually go um, keep it 3D, click on up here in the uh, world gizmo. You can take a look, you can click on one of the axes and then you can see here it says back and you can see the icon next to it indicates that it's in perspective mode. If we click that cube, that square in the middle, it turns it orthographic, so we've got all that. Now, I can actually see the move tool, I can see the rotation tool, as well the scale tool, so everything's all good. Now, the same snapping tools apply here. We've got um, rotation snapping, oh, sorry, we've got position snapping or grid snapping, We've got rotation snapping, and of course we have scale snapping, so that's that. Now, be aware that it is only um, two axes, that's X and Y, so if you're making um, a, a 2D game, just note that if you do hold down the control key, which is for snapping, um, you can see that it only scales um, along X and Y. Now, again, we also have um, vertex snapping. Um, now here's the thing, if you're using Unity 4.6, it may have been fixed. I'm not entirely sure if it has, I haven't read the notes on it yet, and I haven't actually um, upgraded this particular copy of, um, well, using this older machine, um, it's actually only using 4.5, so I've got to, I've got to update my um, software here. But um, I'm pretty sure it's fixed, if not, uh, then I guess this video has some use. And we can see here, it uses the exact same snapping tools, there's no difference, it's all there. So hopefully you found um, this useful, if you didn't, <laughs> I don't mind. Um, this was just a video um, that I put together in my spare time, I'm quite busy at the moment working on a few separate projects. Um, don't forget to check out the level design breakdown videos. Oh. Actually, yes, if you, are, if you are following the level design breakdown videos, I do suggest that you um, keep an eye out because I will be restarting the series, mainly because I actually lost the notes um, that I had for it. So I'll be restarting that series very soon. Um, until next time, however, guys, if you have any questions or if you have a particular tutorial that you want me to go through, I'm happy to take on suggestions. Um, until next time, though, have a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye.